Uh, first off, just talk about what a heck of a performance from Cameron Neff. Great performance. He's been good all year. He's had a couple rough, rough outings, but, you know, he's a solid freshman from day one. You know, in the fall, he had a great fall. And, um, you know, it, it's it's good for him to pitch on Saturday so he can see Brockett throw before. Because Brockett's a senior. Um, but he's confident. You know, I said it before. He's one of those guys that he just doesn't. It doesn't matter who he's pitching against. You know, it could be a little league team or it could be the Yankees, and he's going to be the same way. And uh, nothing phased him. I mean, to play here in front of probably as many people as ever pitched in his life wasn't phased by it at all. You know, so I'm proud of him. And how big of a boost is it for him and the team as well to uh, to play and beat a top ten team like Cal State? Uh, you know what? I, it's it's a huge boost, obviously, but they know they can play with anybody. You know, we talk about that from day one. If they play better than the team that we're facing, we can beat anybody. Um, and tonight proved that. I think last night gave them some confidence too that they can play right with them, and, and regardless of where it's at or you know against whom or who's on the mound or whatever. And I think they did that again today because last night I told them. You know, last night after losing that game where we had a lead in the 13th and, and some teams can take it as we played right with them, right? And today they could have put it on us um, and our guys came back even better. Yeah, talk a little bit about the team's mentality for them to be able to go from a heartbreaking loss when you, you know, take a lead in extra innings like that and lose it and come back and, and not let it affect them. Because we talk about that all the time. We talk about that we're going to have... You know, some up. We're gonna have some uh, some ups and downs all the way through the season. It's what we do that prepare them for games like last night and being able to get out of bed, you know, and have a great day today. And that's exactly what they did. You know, nothing's gonna phase these guys. You know, regardless of how good or talented or, or how talented we may not be, this it doesn't matter. They're gonna fight. They've done it all year. Now a record, you know, whatever. But we don't look at records. We don't look at. We don't talk about results. We talk about playing today, and we played better today than they did, and that's why we won. And how important has uh, as as Anthony Gonzalez been or Gonzalez been at the top of the lineup for you? Another two hits today seems to be you know hitting the ball really well for well, you. Well, he's a tool as toolsy as they get. I mean, he can really run. He can really throw. I mean, he was, I'm sure he's up to 92 last night. He pitched five innings, great. You know, coming off of. Uh, you know, playing right field. Um, he's a phenomenal athlete. And, you know, I think last year he had his struggles a little bit, but a guy like him with his athleticism, it's just going to take time, you know, and I think he's getting it now. He's, he's getting better as we go. You know, he's an offensive threat. He steals bases. He can bunt. He plays great defense. He has a hose. He can really pitch. He reminds me of their guy last year, Lorenzo. I mean, he's very, very similar. And how do you feel about your team uh, about to head into a West Coast Conference play uh, after this series with, with Fullerton here? How do you feel the team has come along with you being a first-year coach from the fall to leading up to conference season starting? Soon? They've been getting better every weekend, you know, and, uh, you know, the conference is great. I mean, USD, you know, just killing everybody and all these teams that are really good in the conference. It's not going to be easy, but I think playing in places like this and New Mexico State where it's very difficult to play and teams, be, you know, that we beat like Kansas State and having our tournament, all those things are going to prepare us for the West Coast Conference. And, uh, you know, and it's not going to get any easier. We started off going to Portland, and that's never easy as well. So. And what's been the biggest transition for you yourself uh, taking over as the head coach? You know, I think the biggest transition is, you know, having to bring, you know, it's never easy for these guys. That's the, that's the biggest thing. It's the transition's easy for me. I, I've dreamed of, of having this opportunity. I think the hardest part was for these guys. It's never easy for 18 to 22 year olds to go through a coaching change like that. And a lot of these guys weren't recruited. None of these guys were recruited by me. And for me to embrace them and to let them know, hey, everything's going to be okay. You know, it's going to be okay. And, uh, and they've done that, you know, and that's what's made my transition a lot easier.